A terrible fire trapped two young sisters inside their Detroit home. Their parents tried to get them out, but it was too late. That family's six-year-old son survived. And while they deal with the aftermath of the fire, they met tonight to remember their girls. Our Mara McDonald is live in Redford tonight. Mara, there are some things that have happened here after this fire that are pretty hard to understand. You know, Jace, there are, starting with online harassment of this couple. You know, people going on social media and saying horrible things to them, like, you're lousy parents or you clearly didn't love your daughters. But that's not all. Happy birthday! Singing for a little girl who is no longer here, Heaven Fletcher would have been 10 years old today. She and her seven year old sister Angel died in a fire at the family home on Pearson Street at the end of June. We're trying to keep it together. It's a day by day process. Antonia and her husband Gregory Williams tried to get the girls out but were overcome by the smoke. They did manage to get their six year old son out. And it's my job, as you know. Father, the home, you know, to protect. It's okay, babe. All of which is overwhelming and painful, but then there's what's happened after, starting the very day of the fire, while both of them were hospitalized for smoke inhalation and cuts. We found out that vandals went through the crib. Still in and, our personal uh, items. Personal belongings. Kids, that. birth certificates, social security cards, my unemployment card. Which is why today, surrounded by their friends who care, was so important. Back here live and then there's the issue with GoFundMe. You know, the family itself started a GoFundMe account to try and help with burial costs which people responded to very generously. But Antonia tells me that virtually every day, some scammer comes up with a fake GoFundMe account that she has to call GoFundMe and flag. It has been, for them, truly overwhelming. We're live in Redford tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you.